We are at McPherson Crop Management in Janesville, Minnesota, southern Minnesota, to talk with uh, Randy Depute, who is uh, one of the team that's out in the field on a regular basis. And Randy, what are you seeing around the state? First of all, let's talk corn. So ab abundant GDUs late season have really kind of evened out some of these uh, extremely variable corn fields after the June rainfall. Uh, most corn is in the R5 stage, uh, and and we're really being driven by above average growing degree units, uh, 10 to 12 percent ahead of normal, and usually uh, we're at about September 1st when we've accumulated this amount. What recommendations do you have to uh, give corn producers uh, as far as management uh, ideas from here through uh, to the point where they're getting ready to harvest? The biggest thing is just to kind of know what's going on in your fields. Um, go out there and, and make observations as to what areas, you know, you think you can manage your, especially nitrogen, with the amount of rainfall we had early um, moving forward. And let's talk now soybeans. Where are we with the soybean crop? And uh, what are you recommending um, farmers do for management here on out? So the soybean crop should be uh, nearing R6. Uh, currently, which is kind of out of the woods for, for uh, aphid worries, as most growers have sprayed in the last couple weeks. Um, late season weed pressure is something to keep an eye on, as well as uh, diseases like white mold and sudden death. Um, again, it's a little late to, to really do anything about those, but just be aware that they're there and, and make observations to plan. And if they have more uh, questions, would not want to talk to you, uh, how can they get a hold of you? Our phone number here at the office is 507-234-2224, uh, or uh, you can vis visit us online at mcmfarmworks.com. That's Randy Depute, who is with McPherson Crop Management, giving us an update as to where we are today.